remember I'm gonna be teaching a uh, class that's um uh, how would I say for Lana. Remember everybody, this class is live. I have a lot of students out there that are gonna be asking questions. Today we're gonna learn about pastillage. Pastillage is very different from fondant. Pastillage is made for building. So what we're gonna do is build a birdhouse. So I have a pattern here. So how did I get this pattern? I went to Michael's, I bought a birdhouse made out of a wood. I took it apart and I did the, the form. And I ain't good at drawing, so that's what I did and that's my birdhouse. The cool thing about this, it could also be a gingerbread house, a spook house, and all I did, put a circle on the front, now it's a birdhouse. So you can make it two different things. A doll house, I mean a dog house, you know, whatever kind of house you want. But we're gonna do a birdhouse. I'm gonna teach you how to draw on it and paint it and do lots of little things to it to make it unique, okay? So, the recipe, is, I already gave it to everybody, is the pastillage. Okay, this is his recipe because this recipe is how we make all the castles also. Any building, you use pastillage, okay? Gum paste is for flowers and figurines. Pastillage for building. It's not good for uh, making figurines and flowers because it dries up too fast. Everybody understand what pastillage is, right? Yes. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we do, we put in the water. How much water? One, two, three, and then we're going to put in the gelatin. Now the gelatin that I bought is from Mexico. They have one of the best gelatins. So we got the gelatin and gelatin is not cheap. Let me tell you, this package right here is like 14 bucks. So it's not cheap. Okay, how much gelatin do I need? One, 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 one tablespoon. I take it and then I make sure I do this. Okay, don't just dump it in there. Don't just dump it in there because it seizes up. So you gotta kind of move it around. See what I'm doing? Move it around because it will seize up. Now, in order to do the gelatin, make sure it's not warm water because if it's warm water, it's gonna seize up also. So it has to be cold water. We wait for it to, uh, to harden up and once it's hardened up, we're gonna put it in the microwave, okay? The next step is, when we put it in the microwave, I'm gonna add what is the glucose. Well, we don't have glucose, but so we use caro syrup. And what else? What else does it say? Lemon glucose juice. and lemon juice. Now, you can use real lemon, but you don't want that because sometimes the little bits of uh, lemon fall into it. What is it called, the pulp? Okay, the pulp will fall into it and then you can see it. Okay, do you see here it got hardened up already? Okay, that's important. When it hardens up like that, it's ready to put in the microwave. Everybody understand? Yes. Okay, then put it in the microwave now. Thank you. Okay, got it, I'll do it today. After I put it in the microwave, it's melted up, and that's where I'm gonna put the lemon juice. How much lemon juice? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons? Was it three? No, two. Three tablespoons of water. One. And I need carrot syrup. How much? One tablespoon. One tablespoon of carrot syrup. Okay. I mix that all up. It should be nice and watery. Now, some of you are very slow. Okay. And if you're too slow, um, it seizes up and it'll get hard again. If that happens to you, just put it back in the microwave. Get it nice, look at, like this. Got it? Liquidy. Again, what? Liquidy. Liquidy. If it doesn't, put it back in the microwave. So now I got everything in there. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pass it over to one pound of um, uh, powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Okay, like always, 
I box. never put the whole thing in there. I'm just going to put two. Two, that's it. And then I'm going to mix it around. If I need more, I'll add more. Okay? So there's my two cups. I put in this. Dos. And then mix it up. I didn't sift it. I didn't do nothing to it. Gonna start. And because it's cold, see how it does that? Okay, so it seizes up. What am I gonna do? Microwave. Microwave it. That's all I do. If it's too cold, maybe this was cold. It's a cold day. It's gonna seize up. So just put it in microwave again. Here we go. Very sticky, guys. Very very. Sticky. Okay, I come back and it's nice and gooey. So you guys know I cannot work with little. So I like mine over here. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I can't work in uh, bowls because at a job we never do bowls. We always use the table, so I'm used to the table. There we go. Any questions how to do it? This is exactly like fondant. Okay, I'm going to put more around it. That's my third cup. Only three so far. Okay, and now it's it in. Same thing like fondant. Same thing. Same thing as gum paste. Same thing. Now, if you're good, you won't get it all over your hands. If you're not that good, it's gonna stick all over your hands and it's a big mess, just like it is with the fondant. Okay? Everybody got it? Okay. So what do I do next? I keep all this here. I still have a little bit of flour on the bottom. Not flour, sorry, uh, powdered sugar. Okay? Then I'm gonna flatten it out. Just the way I do, the same thing I do with my fondant. Turn it around. One, two. Turn it around. One, two. See how I do this? Turn it around. Depends how big you want it, how thick you want it. This is the same way we do all the castles. Maybe later on I'll show you how to do a castle. Okay? I take my um, pattern, I need two of these. I need one for the front and one for the back. The one in the back does not have a hole. The one in the front does have a hole. I just take it. There's one. I take another one. Got two. Now that one needs a hole. You need to do the hole beforehand. You know me, I don't have things at home. Took a top of uh, what is it, maple syrup or whatever. Just take it, put it in there, and make a hole. Okay, that is my front. Now, if you don't work with this fast, it crinkles up and it's like an elephant skin. So be careful. Okay. Here I go, I take all this back, I'm gonna put it in the microwave again because it's starting to get hard. If it's not hard, you can still use it. Ah, I can use it probably. Again, take it. See how I'm doing this? Okay, same thing, same process. This is really cool. A pastillage is really cool because you can basically do anything with it. It turns so hard really fast. This recipe was given to me at a cake show. I don't remember who gave it to me, but it was awesome because I saw some, um, uh, what is it, uh, bamboo and leaves standing up, and they told me that's how they made it. I had another recipe, and I didn't like it. This one was a real good one, so keep it. One of the best ones. Here I go again.
watching the video. I hope you like it. And if you like it, share it. If you don't like it, don't say nothing. I'm just kidding. The other thing is if you like it, subscribe. That way you can ask questions if you want and I can help you out. One of the things I really want to tell you, if you have a recipe that really complicated, send it to me and I'll make it fast, okay? One of the best things about me, I think, is making things fast easy for you. And I will see you next time I do a video. Bye.